what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i'm just going up and feeding the pigs uh i've already fed my chickens that are in the chicken tractor i've already fed the rabbits and i was just thinking well i hadn't done a video today so might as well do one and i'm gonna go up and feed the pigs i'll kind of show you the the chickens and the chicken tractor and what we got going on they're just about big enough to um start letting out during the day i'm actually going to get in here and clip their wings probably today i'm going to get my electric netting set up around them like i talked about in a previous video i'm still going to move the tractor every day but i'm only going to have to move the netting about once a week it's just going to give them a little bit more uh worms and bugs and stuff like that to eat because they can get out here and peck on the ground uh the chicken tractor is basically just going to be a place for them to go for protection at night we'll put them up at night still got some brush that needs to be burnt not much though on this side of the barn we've got mostly fescue on the other side there's not really a problem with weeds but it's eight down to nearly nothing and all that over there is pretty much bermuda and these pigs i got them kind of up on a hill which is kind of good for our blueberries. We got blueberry bushes right there. Um, it kind of helps with the fertilization of those because all of their pee and poop and everything whenever it rains washes off the side of this hill and comes down to those bushes. I'm looking to try to plant some apple trees. I'm gonna do some pumpkins and watermelons in here. Last time I came up here, I had three deer right up in the woods. I normally wear my camouflage and try to be real quiet as I come up through here to see what I can see. Cause I do hunt back here. Um, last year season, I killed an eight pointer back here. I seen, I think I was seeing, I think it's four does regular and a little spike. And I had seen this little eight pointer a couple times and um, I ended up taking him. He wasn't no monster, but pretty cool to kill one right behind your house. These pigs are hungry. About to get them some more feed up here. Sometimes you gotta get down inside that bucket or that barrel to get the feed out. Right here's my little electric fence. I run two strands, one at about six to eight inches off the ground and the other one about 18 inches to two feet up off the ground. Right now I've got the pigs kind of put up into a pen. Um, this pen's about 32 feet by 32 feet. It's pretty decent size. It gives them plenty of room to move around, but I'm about ready to let them out. It is uh, starting to get warm, <laughs> and we're going to start smelling all this poop. And any of y'all who have pigs know that that's not a fun smell. So, anyways... I actually built this little house here out of pallets and I went and bought tin and spent quite a bit of money on the tin and the screws to put it together. Bought a couple two before, but mostly used stuff just from around the farm. But anyways, I spent a lot more on that than I did on that. And that right there is where they choose to stay. For some reason, I don't understand. Um, that's where they want to be so i just embrace it basically the silver tarp used to be the roof and as you can see it got tore up quite a bit splits in it um it's about three uh two and a half years old probably so i pulled it to the side to block the wind i've got this one blocking the wind over here and then i pulled the one off of this side and put on the top for right now so th that's the top when this top gets tore up, I'll probably move it over here to where the blue one is and put the blue one on top. So basically I've got three tarps that have really made it 
so far almost three years. So I'm gonna continue using tarps. Let me get in their feed. All right, so got the pigs fed. Um, their waters are actually filling up right now. I've got a water hose that runs from the barn all the way up here, which is a pretty good ways. It's probably 300 plus feet, but it runs up the fence. And then I've got a, um, a little valve where I've got a couple hoses running off of it. And I've got two 55 gallon drums up here that I'm filling. I normally fill these up. I'll turn the water hose on down there daily for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And that normally is plenty to, uh, to keep them kind of full. Um, right now, I actually have a nipple that's fell off of one of the barrels. So I'm gonna have to get in there and get that thing put back on so I'm not wasting my water. Um, stuff like that happens. If their barrel gets a little low or something like that, or if they're fighting over that barrel and that nipple, a lot of times they'll pull it out. So what I've done is I've gotten Teflon tape and I put Teflon tape on it, and screwed it back in there. It just makes it a little bit tighter fit. And I don't know if you've noticed or not, but I've got a Rabbit Valley Farmer's Market t-shirt on. I got this the other day um, from Samantha. Um, they are gonna have a Farmer's Market in Ringgold this year. I can't remember all the details, but if you'll go to Rabbit Valley Farmer's Market, you can read that. If you'll go to their Facebook page, it's got a lot more information on it. And they, I think they still need a few vendors. We're gonna try to actually be a vendor there this year. Um, we're gonna try to sell some eggs there, some pork, um, maybe some stuff out of the garden. But right now, we don't have enough stuff to get in it. It's, I think it's supposed to start in April, but uh, hopefully we'll have some stuff by then. Um, but if not, we're definitely going to be there to check it out, be there to see how things operate and how things work. But that's something that is a really good way for you to get organic food for your family, um, some good vegetables and stuff. And uh, it's just a really cool place to go hang out with like-minded people. And you may learn something. You may learn a lot about gardening, a lot about um, animals and stuff like that. So that's just another tool to have other than just having YouTube as far as to get some... Uh, some pointers on how to do things and uh, a little bit of inspiration sometimes we need that sometimes things ain't going great and we really are looking for somebody to say hey you know you can do this you got it so I guess that's kind of what I want to be for uh, everybody out there because this is something that I've never really done so um, I'm new to it so I'm learning so if you have any pointers please post them in the comments down below if you haven't already subscribed to the channel don't forget to do that subscribe uh, like this video and hit the notifications bell because anytime i post a new video you'll be notified right away thanks for watching and as always god bless